day, yeah. Put that one by banana. I have plantain. Uh, cherry, 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 the parcel. <laughs> What's up team? Fullest, this is again me. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Cook Up My Canal. So today I want to come and show you guys how you can dry your fish in the oven. Um, in the oven. Actually, this um method was shown to me by someone, so I'm not gonna take any credit for it. But I thought, you know what, let me come and show you guys some of maybe there, there might be someone out there who is like me. Who did you know? Because I already I don't know that I used to normally dry my fish in the barbecue um, thing outside. But then the person was like, "Oh, you can do this in the oven." And if you live in Africa, that you can go to the market and buy dry fish. But if you live in Holland, like I do, or any other European country, you guys know African food is expensive. So if there's a way that I can put some coin back to my pocket. I'm here for it. So I'm going to show you guys how to dry this fish. And I went to the to the butcher where they sell the meat. Let me just rub some coconut oil on my lips, okay? I have coconut oil here I used to cook. Let me just take a little bit of rub on my lip because my lip is kind of dry. I don't know. I'm always licking my lip. And we are now in the winter season. So... I cook with coconut oil so I have this big container like when I'm frying egg or making any kind of stew or anything just something little little I use that so you guys know living in Holland is expensive so African food is really expensive here so if there's a way you can save some coin do this so I'm gonna show you guys so these are the fish actually I don't like this fish when you fry it when you fry it to eat it i don't like it my favorite fish my favorite fish is the red sniper i know some of you guys are gonna be like what red sniper one of the most expensive fish in the market that's my favorite fish and i really love it but this one i like it when i i i, I dry it in the oven like when you're about to cook african dish you can remove the bones and then put it on top as a dry fish it's delicious it's really delicious so these are the fish i bought this at the market i've washed everything at the market i allow them to cut the head you can keep the head if you want to but normally when, I, when i'm about to take off the skin i don't really use the head so that's why i normally cut the head off at the market already because i don't need it so this is the fish. I've already cleaned everything. I removed the stomach inside. You can actually leave that one if you want to, but I don't like it. I've already cleaned it, washed it. This is the tray where I'm going to put it and then put this in my oven. My kitchen is a little bit messy because I just come home. I'm trying to get things ready. Here, I bought a lot of um, food stuff. Which I'm, I'm trying to organize stuff so the kitchen a little bit somehow. So this this is my mini oven. You can actually take it outside if you don't want the smells in the house. But today I'm a little bit lazy. I don't feel I don't have energy for all of that. The sunlight. I don't have energy for all of that. So I'm just gonna leave it inside here. And I'm gonna put some few candles around the house to kind of help with the smell. So now that I have explained to you guys all of that, let me put my camera down, kind of show you guys how I do it. So first I'm gonna put the oven on. Let it be warming. I'm gonna put it in the highest and then put the stand, the heat to come from the down. So I'm going to take this, my baking spray because I don't want the fish to stick on the pan. So that's why you're just gonna coat this with some spray. Cold, 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 cold. A little bit go a long way. <coughs> Cough a little bit. And then come back the backward like you guys can see. Okay, I feel like you guys can see me from here. So now I'm going to take the fish. I'm just going to put it in the tray. Let's see how much I can get ready. Because I don't want it to stick together. So I think I'm going to do four because they're... They're also quite big, you know, the fish are quite big as you guys can see. So I'm going to take this, <laughs> jeez, I'm the fish girl. 
so i'm going to take this four i'm going to put it in the oven okay this is the oven it's already on and now i'm just going to i'm going to remove this one there's no need there's no use for it right now and i'm just going to put this on the second look push the fish to get push it again so that it doesn't burn so that it doesn't like stick together because i really do not like that and now i'm just closing the oven leaving that one so i'm going to just put this one aside for now because till that one is done that i'm gonna i put the time for 75 minutes and then so i put this up for 75 minutes after 75 minutes the thing would just go off on its own so now i went to the like you guys like i said i went to the store I went to buy some meat some meat and i went to buy some few stuff because i want to cook food maybe not today because i'm a little bit tired maybe tomorrow but i'm going to show you guys all the shopping that i did i bought spinach yeah and i bought some candles so i'm going to put these candles on because i really do not like the smell of that fish honestly speaking i don't so i bought this one just for this one I'm gonna put two two candles <laughs> i'm just gonna put one in the corridor and one in the kitchen so that the smell and one in the kitchen i'm gonna put it right here i also have this candle that i bought but this i'm gonna take it upstairs I love the smell of that one. So I bought some spinach. I bought some apple. I bought some banana. Today I didn't buy pear because the pear that they have in the in the in the shop, I didn't like it. I bought this stuff to hang in the door, like where the kids hang their bag. I don't actually need it right now because I do have some few ones here. But sometimes the kids kind of pull it off and it's a little bit expensive when you go and buy it so i thought it was on sale so i thought let me just buy it and just keep it for when i need it because that is how i always do i buy things and then i just keep it when i need it i just go and take it so now i'm just going to get all of this stuff put somewhere You know what i'm just going to try and get everything put there the banana is going up up here i still have one ripe banana i have fear i'm going to get this i need to make some smoothies today so i'm just going to put this ones here and this and i'm going to try and make that smoothie today i'm going to put the apple and the mangoes together the apple and the mango, and this one goes into the plastic. So now I have a bunch of stuff in this bag. Let me guys show you it. Go down with the camera. I bought a lot of African food also here, which I need to clean and get rid. I bought some extra bread. We still have bread, but I bought extra. The kids love this biscuit, so I bought it and some um, bites cook for the kids. And then I bought some fruit as well for my daughters. Because the girls are the only ones that eat fruit. Now, these are all the meat that I bought. I bought a lot of meat. I got one bag, I got two bags, Ooh. and then I got three, three bags, that's a lot, that's a whole lot, let's take out all this receipt outside, put it in this plastic, this is actually not needed, I don't know, if I have the strength, 
I'm going to make the spinach soup today. But I'm not too sure about that one because I am pretty, pretty tired. So, but I did, I do have a, a, a sauce. I take out some sauce in the fridge. So I do have that one. I have this plastic bag. I bought them from the Jumbo, Jumbo. And this is where I put the meat in. I still, I think I still have more because that one is not going to be enough. Hopefully I still have more. No, I don't have more of that one. Is it the same as this one? Nope. <laughs> oh, I don't have more of this one. Oh my God. Oh, I, I do have, I, yeah, I do have one more here. <laughs> I thought I didn't have because then I have to disturb my son, which I know he will not like. But then I just have to call him to go to the store and buy me more because, and I know he's not going to be happy about that because he's sitting right in the middle of his game and me calling him right now to go to the store is going to be a trouble on its own. So I have all the things that are going outside. I also have, I bought some cassava some cocoa yam, some plantain to make fufu, but I'm going to, I'm going to do that later. I'm going to clean everything later. But for now, first, all I want to do is package. Just package all of this meat. Just. Packaging. I'm not going to cut cut anything because I don't really have that energy or strength. I'll just put them in a plastic and then when it's time for me to cook, I'll just take it out, cut cut it and then cook with it because right now I really do not have. So this is how big the plastic is. Yes, you can see. So I'm just going to take, I'm just going to show you guys how I do one and then I'm just going to do it quickly, fast, fast. So if this is the reason why I put the fish first. So I'll be doing this by the time I'm done with all of this, the fish will be ready. So this is the reason why I do this one first. One more. Okay, I have this dirty towel which I always like to wipe my hands. So you guys see? So this is how I package the meat. I know it looks a lot, so if I'm cooking a dish and it's too much, I'll just take a little bit out after cooking the meat because I never really, I like to cook the meat separate before ever I mix it with a sauce. So this is how I package the meat. Like this one, it is pretty easy. It saves you money than to go to the store every time to be buying meat. It saved me a lot of money. So with having meat at home, having rice, Having other things, it makes um, food in money a little bit lesser than normal. Because if you don't have meat at home, you have to spend much, much more money on buying um, meats. Food money has to be expensive. But having meat, having a bag of rice at home, having some oils, some palm oil and all of that makes food in money a little bit lesser. So I'm really happy for that. So I'm showing you guys how I do it. This how I package it. So I'm going to package everything very, very quickly. And then I'll come and show you guys how many packet meats I have. But in two weeks from now, I'll be going again with my friend to there to buy some meat. But I just wanted something for for now, for just to eat at home. But I'll be going back before the Christmas to buy more meat so that when you enter into the new year, at least the whole of the whole month of January, February, I don't have to go to the store to buy any meat. So that is what I'm about to do. So stay tuned. Let me just fix everything. Oh, I'm done with the meat. As you guys can see, this is everything. I do have some chicken. I bought some few chicken. And I bought the, I don't know how to call this one. But we call it the stomach. You know, to make like some fried fry something to be chewing. Whilst we are watching movie. I bought some cow foods. 
and all of that. I have this one. This one we call it the stomach. If you're an African, you definitely know this one. But it's still very ice. So I want I'm gonna leave this one to melt and then later I'm gonna cut it into pieces. So this is everything. What the fish is still going on so the smell is, is taking over the house little by little but i have candles there i have one candle where where's the candle i have one candle there one there and i have another one there so yeah but it's okay it will get it, the smell will get go away so i'm just gonna put this one in the freeze and then i'm going to peel off the cassava the coco yam and the plantain I'm going to peel the skin off. So yeah, that's a lot of work. So after I'm done with all of this, I can actually sit down and rest. But for now, I just need to get all of this together and then the girl can go and rest. But this, that is what happened. I'm going to leave one, one meat and one of the cow foods because maybe today or tomorrow I'll cook the spinach. But I'm going to later when I'm done with the cassava, if I still have time, if I'm still not tired, I'm going to wash it, clean it, cook it, just steam the meat, leave it to stand, and then tomorrow I'll make the sauce. So, yeah. This one, I'm going to leave one here in the freezer, the freezer here, because um, if I want to make something to, to you know, something to be, to be moving your mouth around the house. Once we are watching movie, so I don't need to go all the way to the store. So yeah, I'm going to leave it there. But this one, all, all of this is going to the store. All of this. That's a lot of meat. And trust me, this one will last a long time. Because one pack of this, we're actually going to cook two dish with eight. Because I really don't eat a lot of meat. I do eat a lot of fish. Sometimes when I cook also, I do have fish. So I don't use this one for one dish, for one soup. For one pot of soup. No, this one is going to make two pots of soup. So now I have all of this here. I'm going to put this one in the freezer here. There we go. So this is the yam, the coco yam, not yam, plantain. Well, because you have net complex heart, you've been basic, yeah? This tuna, as soon as you are busy, that's the most I ask you for everything in the world. I have coco yam, I have some cassava. You guys know I make cassava fufu. I'm going to try to make cook tomorrow. And then I'll come back and show you guys how to make cassava with plantain. Because I'll show you guys how to make cassava fufu, just using cassava. But I'll come back and show you guys how to make cassava and plantain fufu. Um, it's very, very delicious. Very, very nice. So I think I'm going to leave two cassava and two plantain for tomorrow. And this one, I'm going to peel this and clean the skin and then this is how you do it because when you leave it like this it may get spoiled so if i know i'm not going to be using this tomorrow or next tomorrow it's better to just clean it peel the skin off put it in the plastic and put it in the freezer so when it's time for you to use it you just take it out of the freezer let the ice melt blend it and make your fufu it's way easier because these things get spoiled very quick and you don't want to just buy it put it down in the house and just let your money go waste these are expensive african food is expensive so i'm gonna put this one in the store and then i'll be back so i'm gonna show you guys how i clean the cassava and all of that stay tuned welcome to my life <laughs> uh, uh, uh. 
This is because I, I, I oh my god, it's been a long time. I, I can't remember the last time I carried something in my head. Oh, this is heavy in Africa like this, you know, you go to the market. Banana day, yeah. Uh, Who buy banana? I have plantain. Uh, cherry, 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 the paso. <laughs> my head, Jesus, all Africa. Uh, <laughs> we have some fun. <laughs> you guys tell banana hawking on the street the whole, oh, my head is spinning. By the way, let me guys get this on the, uh, into the store. I'll be back. Stay tuned. Time to cut the cassava and clean all of this. This is how I cut my cassava. I just get all the skin here. So after I have peeled the skin off, this is what I'm, I'm going to do. I'm just going to cut it into blocks. Yeah. Yeah, but my... Like this, blocks like this. So when it's time for me to blend it, yeah, it's easier so I do it blocks like this so when it's time for me to blend it in the blender to make um, fufu it's a bit easier for me to do so this is how I'm going to do all what is the thing set the thing here here so I'm just going to do the same with all things. So guys, I'm going to spin this video faster so that we don't spend a lot of time because I do have a lot here to do. So yeah, let's just speed up this video.
today is a day i'm a little bit tired but i want to show you guys how this fish end up this first one is done so i'm going to put it in here to drain the oil so what i'm going to do i'm going to take um a foil paper get this camera straight Okay, yeah, I'm going to take a foil paper. It's getting a little bit darker because we're in the winter now. It's like four o'clock, not even four o'clock to be uh, exactly, but it gets a little bit darker. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a foil, I'm going to double it into two, fold it. Like this, like this, and then I'm going to take this one, I'm going to put it around it, so you see? So now the oil wouldn't mess up the kitchen. I will put the fish here and then the oil will just drain into it. And then I'm going to put the next one. But I'm gonna put the next one and then that one will will be finished way later because it's a little bit um getting dark right now. So I just wanna put this show you guys how the fish end, um the result of the fish, and then I'm going to close this vlog. We're going to start again another time. So today, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys have a like, blog like this, day-to-day -day life, in uh, my day-to-day -day daily life into me? Whatever, if you guys like it, let me know. But the fish is finished. Ooh, this is dry, dry, dry. It's hot, so you have to... It has a lot of oil. I'm gonna try to show you guys what it looks like. I'm gonna double this towel because I don't want to get burned. This is what it looks like. As you guys can see, it's properly dry. It has a lot of oil. So, you see, when you leave it to dry, I don't know if you guys can see. Let me turn the camera a little bit. You see the oil that is coming out, so that's the reason why I'm going to put it into this tray. You see, this is very, very dry. Ooh, it's super dry. See how dry? Still hot. It's perfectly when you're about to cook. You can just take one, remove the bones, and put it on top of your sauce as a dry fish so now what i'm going to do i'm going to take this is where i pour the hot oil and then what i will do with this hot oil i will throw it in the garden i have this part in my garden where there's only sun because it's not good to throw it in the sink it will it's not it's not good don't throw it in the sink don't throw it don't throw it in the toilet it's not good not a good idea so i'll throw this one outside um in the sun is better than throw it in the sink or you can just throw it outside leaving the floor but don't throw it in the sink so now i'm going to take the last the two last one i'm going to do this one but i'm going to use this two last one to cook tomorrow so yeah this is the last two I'm going to put it to 60 minutes as well so guys this is what the dry fish is looking like um, yeah it looks very very nice I'm really happy so what you can do now when you have done make it like this you can grab a foil paper aluminum foil and then you can wrap one individually like you take aluminum paper you take one you wrap it 
but this way you're gonna do that one after everything has cooled down so when this one has cooled down it's not warm anymore it has cooled the oil has drained you're gonna wrap it with alum with foil foil paper you're gonna wrap it and then you can put it into your freezer so so whenever you're ready to use it you just take one out of the freezer you let it stand in the morning and then in the evening cook or what you do take it um at night out of the freezer let it stand the whole the whole night the whole night take it in the evening out of the freezer let it stand the whole night and then you can use to cook in the afternoon or in the morning whatever which one you want to but you're going to wrap it individually not together because then it's too much but yeah it all depends on how you cook but if you like to use two to cook you can wrap it two two but i like to use just one for each sauce so I like to wrap it one, one, one. And then when if I'm going to cook two sauce at the same time, I will just take two out. So yeah, this is how you make your own dry fish. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Um, it's still very early, but it's so dark right now. I'm trying to look for those small mini ring lights because I'm vlogging with my phone. Those small mini ring lights which you can put around your phone so that it will give you more light, allow you to vlog more. But there's not much to do now. I'm just going to clean the living room, clean everywhere, and then go and sit down and chill. But yeah, this is the end of this vlog. I hope you guys, my kitchen, you guys today are my kitchen. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys do, please do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and Facebook like page, Team Fullest. Thank you guys so much for your love and support. I really appreciate it. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Let me know. Hey, <laughs> peace out. Bye.